Hey, 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 boys and girls, welcome back to an episode of Cowboy Big Bid. Doing a little naval action battle. So, chase down this little trink here. If y'all watched my last battle, I went to Davy Jones, so I just decided to take somebody with me. So I targeted this trink. Got some good guys on Twitch watching with me, giving me some good pointers. Oh, you're in a fight with some British guys right now? <laughs> nice. v4 right now. Oh man, I sh we should have hung out in that area. That would have been a good fight to join. <laughs> yeah, I just started my battle though. Ah. Oh. It's, ooh, we got two of my cannons. Wow. That should have been some leaks. Closing the distance. He's feeling frisky. Love when the AI just switches to like single shots. Doing AI. We think, guys, should I board him or should I sink him? It's up to you. Oh, nice turn. Going to Davy Jones first. Sink all day. <laughs> Sink all day. Play all night. That's the way we like to fight. How's y'all's battle going, Jesus? Y'all winning? Are y'all sinking my poor British brothers?
About to kill one now. Oh, no love. What's up, Cuban? Nice to what? Nice to join you. Oh no, bro. This one's just a kind of a revenge kill. I got in a big bite. The big battle against the pirates uh, just spawned up at a different port. Grabbed this ship, and uh, this was my first prey, so I just jumped on her. But yeah, no, if it was a human player, I wouldn't be going toe to toe like that. I would have been having to use a little bit more tactics in my selling. Oh, you never play. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, welcome to the show, bro. So this, as soon as I sink this guy right here, I'll zoom out and uh, it'll be a huge world map. And there's up to a thousand players on at a time. And you can fight players, AI. While you're fighting AI, players can jump in and sink your ship, take your stuff. Uh, you can trade, you can take over cities and ports. Dude, uh, if you have the time, it is an amazing game. I would definitely, definitely uh, tell people to get it, especially if you like this kind of uh, history, this era of time. You can grind. Oh, yeah, Chopper. Uh, to get to the bigger ships, you you grind and grind and grind. But, dude, fighting the AI just makes it so, it's so fun because you never know what kind of loot you get. Like, when I sink this bad boy right here, I, I could get all kinds of nice prizes, some doubloons, some good cannons, some good woods. You can, uh, Ray. later on you can start designing your own ships and building your own ships. So, there's just so much you can do in this game. Like right here, I just got some doubloons. That's some of the really good loot. You use that for upgrades, to sell, to make some good money, to teleport around. Really nice. Leave battle. Hey Ray, you in that uh, fight with downtown? Can't believe you sold to me. <laughs> sold to me. <laughs> Get my crew back up. Apply change. Yes. Yeah, I'm killing Brits. <laughs> if you were Great Britain. It's all about the Brits, man. It's all about the Queen. When you want to get up there, dark is brown. The gravity pulls you straight. So, uh, Cuba, and if you're still here, so this is the world map. You can go all over the place. Uh... Yellow ports are neutral ports, so you can bring any ships. Then you have like all kinds of different nations, pirates, British, uh, Swedes, the French, Polish, which uh, there's a couple of Polish players watching the stream right now. They're trying to, oh, Spain, America, they're trying to get me to join the, uh, the Polish nation. <laughs> they're offering me a victory. I'm like, oh, hey. Okay, so, uh, the, sh the ships in the game, oh my god. Uh, help me out, guys. How many different ships are there? I would say easily. So, the ships are ranked in tier. You have tier 7 ships all the way up to tier 1 ships. And, uh... Oh, yeah, we're hunting around SDC. I'd say about 30. Yeah, I'd say about 30. And, uh, depending on how many ports you have, uh, chopper... Uh, uh, Cuban, I'm sorry. It's how many ships you can hold. Like right now, I can hold 27 di ships in my in my different ports, so I can like switch out to bigger ships, smaller ships, trade ships. Uh, what was that one website? Hold on a minute. I got a really good website. 
select use. Let me post that right here. Is it this one? Hold on one minute. Let me see here. This one? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Found it right here. So, control C. There you go, bro. If you click on that link right there, it'll show you all the ships you can have. Like, my ship right here, this is called our uh, Radivision. And it shows you the rank, so it's a tier 4 rank. And it shows you all my stats, armors. Uh, depending on where you buy, uh, build your ship at, you get port bonuses. Pretty cool. Pretty cool setting how they have it set up. Uh... And you'll see like here, like this is a privateer, in it, but it has seven ships with it. So you only sh see one ship on the map, but if you fight it, you'll be fighting eight ships. And you can fight uh, up to like, uh, there's some fleets that sail around with like uh, 13, 14 ships in it. <laughs> Come join Poland into space. <laughs> Then I wouldn't have all you guys coming and beating me up and sinking my ships, then picking on me in Discord. I mean, in Twitch, you know. Because <laughs> if I joined y'all, we'd just be crushing the poor British guys. Okay, yeah, that, that's a good question. So, so Cuban, so like say uh, that battle you just tuned into where I was fighting that uh, one Trink. If he would have sank me, I would have lost my ship. I would have lost uh, all these cannons that I bought for the ship. And any uh, special upgrades that you put in this slot. Like, you can buy all these different upgrades. And uh, if your ship sinks, you lose it all. <laughs> but the good thing is, that's why you have all these other ships for backup so all these ships right here are in uh, my port called La Tortue so if, if they would have sank my ship I could have just came back here grabbed another ship and went back out and tried to get revenge and sink him for sinking me then you can uh, put ports in all these different towns so you have ships like stashed all over the map see all these ships are in all these different ports my nice pretty ships, my victories, are in uh, Santa de Cuba. Here, let me go to Santa de Cuba real fast. Transport. Yes, confirm. Oh, 
This is what you call the highest, one of the highest tier ships. The Victory. She is a beast. Three decks of pure destruction. Pretty ship, pretty ship. Yep, it takes a... Uh, you see, so the way they, they keep people from just jumping in and grabbing like the first big ship they can get is as you level up, you have a crew. So you start off with like only like around 100 crews. You can only man the little ships. And then as you get more and more, you can get the bigger ships. Like it takes 850 men to, to sell the victory. So that's where the grind comes in. Then you have like trading systems where you, uh, you know, trade with all the different cities to try to make money. Like you can buy, uh, where am I? At? I can buy stuff in Santa de Cuba, sell over to Guam, sell it for a profit, try to make more money to buy better ships, better cannons. And uh, I know the guys that they can vouch for me. Some people in clans and nations they just like to trade. Like literally, they'll get on here and sell from like way up here. They'll buy a bunch of good, good, uh, good equipment and stuff, and they'll sell all the way down south and sell it down here for huge profits. But that's where the fun comes in. I don't like to trade, but I do like to kill people that's trying to trade. So if I catch a a trading ship, I can uh, I can l take all their loot. So I can take all their money from them, whatever they had on that ship. Okay, uh, best ship in the game. So, the Victory is a tier one. It's like the second best. Tier, oh no! Now that they have the Santa Ana, it's probably the third best tier one ship. You have the Laotian, which is your biggest uh, tier one ship you can get. Then the Santa Ana, then the Victory. So this is like the third best ship you can get. But it packs a lot of firepower. This is. Uh, wait, oh, this one doesn't have the cannons on it. Yeah, so this is how many cannons you can put on it. You have 30 42 pounders, 30 24 pounders, 30 12 pounders, 20 68 pounders, and then uh, front and back guns, and then you can put all the upgrades on her. Let's go with. Okay, so he's asking about the cost of ships. So, if you're just if you're just going around killing people and stealing all the loot and making a lot of money, then every town you go to has ship auctions. You click on the ship auction, and you can go to the different ranks. So let's say rank one. Search. So there's none like there. So there's no rank one ships for sale here. No rank two ships. No rank three. Wow. What's up with my boys? They're not selling any ships here. Okay, there you go. So you go to different cities, different ports. Uh, yeah, I thought I thought one or two was the 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 worst ship. Oh, okay, yeah, here we go. Four to five slots. Gotcha. Oh, here's some really nice Indiemans. Gold one. Damn, that's not bad at all. Three hundred thousand fast. Fur and fur. Huh. Damn, got five port bonuses. I should buy that one. <laughs> okay, uh, sorry, sorry, Cuban, I got distracted. But yeah, so you find the ships, and then this is the price. 
So 300,000, I have 11,200,000. So I could easily buy this one if I wanted to. Which if I was trading, wouldn't be a bad one. Uh, whoa, 4 million? Holy crap. Huh. The Implacable? Yeah, I'd have to agree with you. The Implacable's a badass ship. Literal lies. <laughs> well, I mean, the Implacable... Where's the Implacable? It's supporting 90 guns, 550 crew. It's not a bad ship. Not, it's definitely not a bad third rate. Very strong third rate. He's just drunk. <laughs> hey, hey, I'll join you on that one, bro. <laughs> Wasas. Why would I spend 1.5 million for a Wasa? Hey, this one has that mahogany y'all were talking about. It's not a bad Wasa. A Pavel? Yeah, pa St. Pavel's a pretty badass. <laughs> yeah, 82 guns, 500 crew. St. Pavel is a really strong third rate. Puts Raymond's trash in the ship. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching again on YouTube. When I get into another battle, I will record that for you. But I'm always streaming live on Twitch, so you can join me there. <laughs>